Euphoria. This show has been going viral on the internet. On Twitter, it's been trending. On Instagram, my friends have been sending me clips and stuff from it. And this is for a good reason. This show is great. It has the storytelling, right? The sex scenes, right? The drama, right? Like Zendaya. Ooh. So this, this show is pretty great. But my favorite part of the show is the sex. I mean, the music. <laughs> So today I'm gonna show you what it would be like if I produced for the hit show Euphoria. Before before we start, am I doing this because the show is great? Yeah. Am I also doing this because the season finale is coming up and me making this video might help my YouTube channel growth? Yeah. If you like this video and you thought I did a pretty good job of producing for Euphoria, maybe leave a like, subscribe, and comment if any other shows I should produce for. Okay, okay. Before I start this, since it's Euphoria, gotta do some this. Yeah, so this beat was this beat was pretty fun to make, you know. Let me just show you the like basic part. So that is the basic part of the beat, you know. It's it's pretty good. Uh, let me start you off with the drums. For a lot of these pop-ish type tracks that I've started producing a lot more lately, they have simple drums, hard, right? So, got these drums. Kick on the ones and threes. And then I have an extra kick layering it on the ones. Next we have a snare on the threes. And another weird perk, layering it too. Sounds like this. And then the snare pattern here. So for this first one, I have the same snare. I have it reversed. Have it start the reverse on the snare hit. So, so it sounds like it's building up but it just stops here where the kick hits and then it feels like it releases when the snare hits. So it gives it like a lot more punch I think. So build up. Uh boss. So it's a cool tension element, and I think. It makes the drum pattern a lot more interesting. Next I added this vox. It says it's a bat, but it sounds like a wolf. Pitch it down a lot, so without it being pitched down it sounds like this. I guess that's what a bat sounds like. I don't even know. Like, has anybody heard what a bat sounds like? They make that squeaking noise. Yep. Because in French, bat is chauffe souris. Right? Yeah. If any French girls try to hit me up, I know. Chauffe souris. Mmm. Tu es mon petit chauffe souris. Damn, they cause COVID. That's not a good thing. Yeah, but that basically means like flying mouse or something. And bats are kind of like mice, but flying and black. I'm flying black. I guess I'm a show serene. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> and then I added these hi hats. So it's a basic hi hat pattern. Um, it's two step for most of it, but I have it alternating pitches. And I have some rolls. To do rolls, select whatever you want to roll and do alt w or option w on mac so yeah i selected this did alt w hold control and you can change up the velocities like this by just dragging down on these. pretty simple have two rows here and for the hi-hat pattern i actually have half time on them. this is just to give it a darker feel a lot of these labyrinth beats a lot of these beats in euphoria have a dark vibe because it's kind of a dark show you know i think it fits the vibe um next thing i added was an 808 this 808's massive Super simple, um, just a few notes. You can see A sharp, A, it slides on these F and E, then goes down to D, D, G, F. Super simple, that is not the sound of the preset. I actually added some effects, this, this is the normal 808. Ew. So then I added some effects to it. First thing I added was reverb. 
You guys are probably like, damn, Sailor, you added reverb to your bass? That sounds, that's nasty. Why are you doing that? That's weird. No one does. But I made a sick bass. You ain't doing that. Exactly. You're not unique. You're just following all the rules. Shut up. So added some reverb, gave it some nice space to it, made it massive. Then added some distortion. Ooh, that's a nice distortion. I don't even know what it's called. Like, I don't even know what the actual distortion plugin is called. I wanted to quantize. Right, all the other ones aren't that good. Like, they don't have that much. But this one just has a nice high end. And I thought that was sick. But I added a little too much. So I added in a Q and cut out some of those high end and boosted that frequency. The reverb is Valhalla Supermassive, the small plus wide preset. And it made this sick 808. Has a lot of grit to it. And that's pretty much it for all the drums. Next for all the melodies, um, had some strings. Labyrinth uses a lot of strings, a lot of orchestral instruments, and I think these strings are sick. These strings are from Expand. It's kind of like bootleg atmosphere or mini atmosphere. I went to strings and used the spizzicato strings up and down. All right, super simple. Dun, 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 dun. I actually started with this string. This idea came to me after watching a Euphoria episode. I'm like, damn, a string pattern like this da, 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 would be fire. The idea just came to my head. Sometimes that just happens. Ideas come to your head. If that ever happens to you, record it in voice memos and save it for later. Next thing I added was this. Some more strings. Right, so super simple string pattern. It's actually on every one and three. Kind of following the kick, right? But I added some halftime to it, as you can hear, because it's not playing on every one and three. And I followed the chords of the arp. Some guy's riding a bike with a can attached, and it's making a loud noise outside. So I took an A sharp major seventh chord and stacked two on top of each other. Then I took an A major with a G. So I think that's A major add something. Then it goes to D minor, and this is just a D minor chord with a D on top. And then it went to the D sus2. I think it's D sus2, but it still has the A in it, so it has these two. Right? It has that dark vibe. It has a bunch of plugins. This is w without the effects. It's a lot brighter sounding, so I added these effects, such as Pancake. This is so it pans from left to right. Pancake, free plugin, super good. Get it. Next, EQ. Add some highs, but then I added some halftime to it. And last thing I added for, this is also an expanded plugin. I added this other string. So, three strings. This is what this one sounds like. Uh... I just wanted something to fill in the space while that arp was going. So just added one note, right? Not even that much. This string preset is four string presets stocked on top of each other. Big format strings, legato whole tone trill, bigger legato pad. All three of these strings stacked on top of each other. Um, this should give it a big feel. This is it without it. It's kind of bland there, right? But just two notes stacked on top of each other, not even a full chord. Pretty sick. And for these strings, I didn't really add much, just some EQ. Next thing I added was a synth from my Korg Mini Log XD, the best synth in the game. Please sponsor me, guys. Uh, I, I, I don't make any money from my videos, but if y'all sponsor me, I, I'll promote this in every single video. This is my favorite synth. I can make a pretty good ad. I can... Korg Mini Log. I just played the chords from my chord mini lock. Uh, 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 Play has one of the best vocal plugins. To these vocals, I added some EQ, took out the lows, boosted these frequencies. I um, added some more vocals that I recorded. Uh,
Call Me Kid Cuddy. You know, got the little vocals. They pretty fire. I think they're pretty cut out some of the lows. Um, added some timeless for some delay. Added some Valhalla Supernatural default preset. Another play vocal. Why aren't y'all playing? It's called play. Okay, good. I tried layering a bunch of play vocals on top of each other to emulate a choir, right? Labyrinth's sound has a lot of choirs, church, gospel, and I cannot sing, so I had to do it myself digitally. And it sounds pretty good, but I added some little altar boy. That's why it's pitched down like that. And I added some EQ, cut out the load. Last play vocal I added. Ooh, this one's nice. So following a lot of the same chords I did before, the effects I used on this one were Pancake, Wider, and Valhalla Supermassive, and I added these bells. Those are pretty sick. Add to the dark vibe of the song. This bell is from a one-shot kit, Nami Chapter 01 Bundle. These are all of the melody parts. The vocals near the end I think this is sick um, y'all need to listen to this this is where the little ultra boy comes in for the vocals this all looks really complicated and it is <laughs> oh. isn't that a fire oh. I have these little dip outs Ooh. <laughs> it changes up even more near the end chop it up Y'all can hear that when you listen to the beat. Listen to the beat. Like, I'll put it right here. How do you like the beat? It's fire, right? Yeah, I know. I know. Like, if you want it, you can go buy it. Like, you want to buy it? You sure? I mean, I'll take your money. Thanks. Yo, I appreciate you. Uh, nigga, you thought. I had a little bridge in between. This is just kind of like a mellow, chill breakdown part. Yeah, so that's the string part. Pretty similar to this part, but some different chords. But then it changes up here. It's A sharp major to F sharp major. Ooh, spicy. Then it goes to whatever this chord is. Y'all don't even know what this is. So it's like some different chords, right, to change up the vibe. Instead of the 808, we have a sub bass. Analog Lab. This is the Mike Dean bass. Sick mood bass, probably my favorite bass I use. This bass has some distortion and some EQ on it, so take out some of the highs. I use some different drums, so. Um, next thing I added was this kick. I added these vocals halfway, rising up, so. With everything. And then it drops. Um, Y'all can hear the drop if you listen to the beat. Mixing elements are pretty simple. I have these three strings bust Best. to the string thing. So select all these, right click, root only to this track, and now it's on the strings. Added some effects such as EQ, added some reverb, this is a lexicon plugin, and I added the glue, coagulates it all, super sick compression. Um, yeah. Next for the drums, added the drums to here, just added the glue, drum, bonzo's room. Instruments, this is like, includes everything that's not vocals or strings. Um, I guess this is just the bell, damn. 
but didn't even, even add anything because it's just bell and then all the vocals go to here and i just have the glue on them bass same thing added just the glue and instead of rooting all these straight to the master i don't know why the master is called record let me rename it i'm dyslexic <laughs> yeah i said that once in my videos and y'all actually thought i was dyslexic that's when you can't read and i'm typing like y'all stupid <laughs> <laughs> I put these all onto a pre-master. This is basically just so I don't have to touch the master at all with like fades out and straight like that. What I've started doing at the beginning of my beats have the stereo separation at mono so it sounds super closed in and then when it opens up near my producer tag it just sounds way wider and that's a pretty cool effect I've been doing. If you guys do that I'm suing you. Opens up. Yeah. This was a super fun beat to me. One of my favorite ones in the month of February. I've been making, exploring my sound more, right? Making a lot of more dark pop stuff. I think it's a pretty cool vibe. Um, I'm probably, obviously, gonna make everything. That's my goal as a producer. Make every genre and make a song in every genre. So if you're a country artist, I actually fuck country. If you're anything but a country artist, I'm sorry, country fans. There's probably one country guy watching me right now. He's probably like this. Well, that's, I think, pretty much the beat. If you guys want to hear the full thing, click here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this video, leave a like, comment what you would like to see next. I might start doing some more TV show videos. Subscribe if you really like the video. Share this with anybody who likes to show euphoria. Yeah, Zendaya, call me. I know you got my number. Tom Holland ain't shit, you know. Call me up if you ever need a beat or need a beat. Yeah. Peace.